Hello students! Nice to see you again everyone! Alright now, please welcome back to our Blau English class! So everyone, I am your English teacher and yeah, you can call me Teacher Kwan. Nice to see you again for today! Alright now everyone, are you ready to get started? Yes! Well done! But before we move to other program, everyone, we are going to sing and dance first. Now, students, let's stand up, stand up. We are going to sing and dance together. Now, let's begin with our first song. So this song we call Hello, Hello Song. All right, let's set up first, everyone. Bro, 
one. Look! Oh no! Where is Pig? So today we are going to have fun together with our wonderful story of Where is Pig? Where is Pig? Have you seen a pig from out of picture? No! Oh no! So where is the pig? Oh, we are going to find out the pig together everyone. But before we move to our story box. So teacher have some questions to ask all of you. And now let's answer the question first. We move to our daily routine everyone. And the first question that teacher want to know is how are you students how are you so how are you today and how do you feel for today are you sad hmm, students are you sad no good job if you are not sad make them what about angry are you angry no again no again oh very nice if you are not angry too next then mm, what about happy everyone are you happy now yes oh good job then let's say with me so this time you would say i am happy your turn i am happy oh well done everyone but let's practice more so this time when you say i am happy you have to act like this i am happy and then smile big big smile all right now let's say and act follow me one more time i am happy your turn i am happy well done so let's move to the next question and one more question that teacher want to know is Listen carefully. How's the weather? Oh, how's the weather? Listen it again, everyone. How's the weather? Then this time, say with me. Our question is, how's the weather? Your turn. How's the weather? Good job. How's the weather? So, tick tock, tick tock, tock. Oh, how's the weather today? Let's find out together, everyone. So now, let's look at the outside over there. Look at the window, everyone. And then please tell me, how's the weather today? We're gonna find out with this one. Look at the children. Oh, it's look at snowy. them. Then, the weather there is for snowy. What about our student? Is it snowy now? Snowy? Is it snowy? No. No. Good job. Now it's not snowy. Very nice. All right. If it's not snowy, next then we are going to find out with this one. Let's look at the elephant. See that? Oh, look at him. It's raining. Oh, now the weather that is for rainy. Now he holding an umbrella. What about our everyone? Look at the outside. Is this rainy now? Rainy. Is this rainy? No, teacher. No. Excellent! Today it's not rainy too. All right, next then. We are going to check up with the little girl. Now, let's look at her, everyone. Look at her hat. It's windy. Oh no! Can you see her hat? No. Oh no, it's blowing away from the wind already. Now the wind today is for windy. Windy. What about our student? Is this windy now? Windy. At the outside, is this windy? Yes. Yes, great work. Now it's windy. All right then, listen and say with our sentence. It's windy. All right, back to you. Say with me. It's windy. Your turn. It's windy. Good job, but practice more. So when you say it's windy, student, let's act like this. Move your hand like the web like that. It's windy. All right, this time, listen. It's windy. Then say and act follow me. It's windy. Your turn. It's windy. Oh, wonderful student. Very nice. Today it's windy. All right, now we have answers our equation with our daily routine already. We get back to our screen. 
All right, that Tisha told you. For today, we are going to have fun together with our wonderful story of. Can you remember our title of the story? Yes. Oh, listen carefully, everyone. Where is pig? Then say with me. Where is pig? Your turn. Where is pig? Oh, where is pig? So where are you, pig? We are going to looking for the pig together with our story box. So now, are you ready to watch our story? Yes. Good job. Let's move to part of story box. And everyone, don't forget to pay attention with our story. Story box. Where is pig? Yeah, where is pig now? Oh, still there. Now look at them. Look at our screen one. So now we have a lot of animals over there. So they are friends still then. And teacher want to check. Can you remember this one, the orange one? Who is it? Cat. Yes, he is a cat. Very nice. And then what about the blue one over there? What is it? Dog. Yes, it's a dog. And then oh, the white one here does have big, big ears. What is it? Rabbit. Yes, it's a rabbit. Oh, and now look at the pink one. What is it? Pig. Yes, it's pig. Is that small nose? It's a pig. Oh, look at them, student. What are they doing now? Oh, now they are packing some food. Oh, they have some milk, some sandwich over there. Maybe they are going to picnic on their holiday. All right, now look at the pig. What is he doing? He eating some snacks, everyone. Why he didn't packing? His backpack, like his friend. We're gonna check it out together. All right, now look at them. Hurry up, pig. Okay. Oh, his friend said, hurry up, pig. We're gonna late. But the pig said, okay. And then he's still eating his snacks. <laughs> After that, oh, the car is here. Wait. Driver, everyone. The dog. Yes, the dog. He is the driver. Look at the car. What color is it? Blue car. Good job. Now they have blue car. And this part, the cat says, Where is Pig? Oh, where is Pig? Hey, Pig. Where are you? Oh, where hurry are up. you? We are late. Oh, now they are late. Mm -hmm. So hurry up. And look at them. Hey, Pig. Where are you? He's under the table. Oh, now they are late, everyone. And then they're looking for the pig around the house. And this part, and this car, the cat, oh, I found him. He's under the table. Oh, is it the pig one? Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out with these things under the table. Maybe the pig is here. Look. No, no. it's not pig. It's a shirt. Yeah, it's a shirt. It's not pig. And back then, where are you, pig? So where are you, pig? Is he behind the sofa? Oh, look. Yes, he's behind the sofa. Oh, and this car, the rabbit said, yes, here. The pig is behind the sofa. Is this the pig one still then? Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out together. So now, let's move the sofa. And then, look. Oh, oh no. no. It's not pig. It's not pig It's again. a cap. It's just a cap. And back then. Hey, pig. Hey, where pig. are you? Oh, now they are in the bed. Is he under the bed? So, is he under the bed? The cat said. This one, is this a pig? Maybe. Maybe. All right, now let's find out with this thing. No, it's not pig. These are pigs. Oh, these are Where pigs. is pig? So, where is pig? Where are you, pig? They look for the pig everywhere and then... What is that? Oh. In the closet. Is he in the closet? And this part, the dog asks his friend, Oh, look, what is that? In the closet one. 
And then the cat said, is he in the closet? Is this a pig student? Maybe. Maybe. All right, now let's find out. Let's open the closest one. Oh, what are you, you doing, doing here? It's oh, pig. I'm sorry. Oh, student. What are you doing, pig? Look at the pig. What is he doing? He is eating sandwich. Yes, he eating sandwich, but he eats one in the closet. Oh, and then the pig say, "I'm sorry, everyone. Maybe he feel hungry. Oh, poor you, hungry pig." Then now they are going to wow world. Oh, it's a funny talk. Wow, wow it's great. great. Oh, look at them. Wow, it's great. Guess what? What are they playing now? Roller coaster. Yes, now they are playing at the roller coaster at the Blow World. Do you want to go to the Blow World? Yes. Oh, do you, do you want to get that once too? And now look at them. I like it. Oh, they like it. It looks fun. Oh, they have a great time together. Where is he? I don't know. Oh. The pig, he learns from his friend again And then their friend asking for each other Where is the pig? Have you seen the pig? And then the rabbit said I don't know So where is pig everyone? It's over there Yes, he is here Oh, he hide himself behind his house And then what is he doing? He eating snacks Yes, he eating some snacks Oh, he is the hungry pig are you hungry, everyone? Yes. Oh, good job. All right, now the end with other story. So good on you. So let's move to the next part for today. After we have watched other story already, this time everyone, we are going to practice more with our new words. Are you excited? Yes. All right, now let's practice more with our word box. Word box. All right, we are going to practice with our eight words over there. Oh, wow, teacher have a lot of words from this part. So we are going to listen and then try to repeat with other words. And each, each word is will repeat it twice. Now listen carefully. Sofa, sofa. Oh, look at the picture here. This one is for orange sofa. All right, this time is back to you, student. Let's listen and say. Sofa, sofa. Your turn. Sofa, sofa. Well done. All right, next then, we are going to practice with our sentence too. A cap is behind the sofa. And then repeat after me. A cap is behind the sofa. Your turn. A cap is behind the sofa. Good job. All right, next then, let's move to the next word. And this time, listen. Table. Table. Yeah, table. The wooden one. That's what we call a table. All right, now, back to you again. Listen and say. Table. Table. Your turn. Table. Table. Well done. All right, now let's move to other sentence too. A shirt is under the table. Now say with me. A shirt is under the table. Your turn. A shirt is under the table. Very nice students. All right, now then we are going to practice with the next word. Listen. Bed. Bed. Oh, look, this one that we call a bed that you can fold some blankets and some pillows over that. Now listen and say. Bed, bed. Your turn. Bed, bed. Very nice. And then keep going to our sentence. Pants are under the bed. Say with me. Pants are under the bed. Your turn. Plants are under the bed. Excellent. All right, next then, we move to the next word. Listen. Closet. Closet. Yes, and here, this thing that we put on some clothes. So we call this one for closet. Or maybe you can call this one for wardrobe too. 
All right, now listen and say. Closet, closet. Your turn. Closet, closet. Very nice. And let's practice with our sentence. Pig is in the closet. Say with me, everyone. Pig is in the closet. Your turn. Pig is in the closet. Good job. All right. Now, let's move to our next word. Please come. In. In. All right. In. This one that we call in. Inside. Now, back to you. Listen and say. In. In. Your turn. In. In. Well done. Look, this apple is in the box. Now, we move to sentence. Listen carefully. Pig is in the closet. And say with me, pig is in the closet. Your turn. Pig is in the closet. Excellent. All right, next then, our next word is... Under. Under. Oh, under, everyone. Our word is for under. Look at the monkey one, the doll of monkey. It's under the blue chair. Now, listen and say... So listen it again. Under. Under. Now your turn. Under. Under. Very nice. And let's practice with our sentence. A shirt is under the table. Say with me. A shirt is under the table. Your turn. A shirt is under the table. Good job. All right, next then. This time our next one is... Behind. Behind. Oh, this ball is behind the man. All right, now back to you. Listen and say. Behind. Behind. Your turn. Behind. Behind. Excellent. All right, next then let's practice with our sentence. A cap is behind the sofa. Then say with me. A cap is behind the sofa. Your turn. A cap is behind the sofa. Oh, great work, everyone. All right, now we move to our last work with part of work box. And this time, listen. On. 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 All right, now look at this monkey. Now it's on the chair. So listen and say. On. On. Your turn. On. On. Good job. Like this apple too. Now the apple is on the table. And then let's practice with our sentence. So say with me. Cat is on the table. Your turn. Sorry. Cat is on the bed. Your turn. Cat is on the bed. Very nice everyone. Here the cat and he is on the bed. All right. Now we have practice with our it works already with part of work box. This time, let's move to the next part for today. And we are going to have fun together with our fun box. So who want to play the game? Me, me. All right, now move to our fun, fun box. box. And this game, everyone, we call this one for a hungry monster. Are you ready? Yes. Now let's move to our game. A hungry monster. Oh, let's look at the monster. <laughs> Click the correct picture to match the sentence. Oh, here yeah, and the forest. Now we have this one. Do you like sofa? Yes, I like sofa. Oh, student, look at the children. Now they found the monster one, the big, big monster over there. And this time the boy, he asks to the monster, Do you like sofa? Do you like sofa? Say with me. Do you like sofa? Do you like sofa? Your turn. Do you like sofa? Well done. Then we move to part of the monster. And the monster says, Yes, I like sofa. Say with me again. Yes. I like sofa. Your turn. Yes, I like sofa. Very nice. So now, student, the monster, he said, yes, I like sofa. This time is back to you. Let's help me to find out the right furniture. Look at our three picture. One, two, and three. Which one is for sofa? 
The orange one, sorry, the yellow one over there, is this a sofa? No. No, what about this? Is this sofa? Yes. Yes, now let's choose this one. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, he I like sofa. So far. And then he said, I like sofa. And now... Do you like chair? Yes, I like chair. And this time, the girl... She asks to the monster and she says, Do you like chair? Say with me, do you like chair? Your turn. Do you like chair? And the monster says, Yes, I like chair. Say with me again, Yes, I like chair. Your turn. Yes, I like chair. Oh, he said that he likes chair. So, student, which one is for chair? Now we have three pictures again. Yellow one, this one, purple one, and the white one. Which one is for chair? The white one, is this a chair? No. No, what about the yellow one? Is this a chair? Yes. All right, now let's choose this one. Super. Oh, no, super. <laughs> it's for chair. I like chair. All right, and he said, I like chair. Now we're eating the chair. Do you like desk? Yes, I like desk. And this part, the boy, he asks to the monster and he says, Do you like desk? Say with me, do you like desk? Your turn. Do you like desk? And then the monster says, Yes, I like desk. Say with me everyone, yes, I like desk. Your turn. Yes, I like desk. Great work, so... Let's find out the right thing. Which one is for desk? Now we have three pictures again. White one here, this one, or the yellow one. Which one is for desk? One, two, or three? Number three. Oh, number three. This one, right? Now let's check out. Okay. Oh, okay, this one is for desk. I like desk. Oh, he said he liked it. After that... Do you like toilet? Oh. Yes, I like toilet. Look at them, they are like scared to the monster. And this part, the boy, he asks to the monster. Do you like toilet? Say with me. Do you like toilet? Your turn. Do you like toilet? And then our monster says... Yes. I like toilet. Say with me again. Yes, I like toilet. Your turn. Yes, I like toilet. Oh, he said that he likes toilet. Now, student, let's find out which one is for toilet. For one, two, or three. Tick tock, tick tock. Which one is for toilet? The white one here. Is this a toilet? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. All right, then let's check out with this one. <laughs> Good job! Oh, good job! It's for uh, toilet! Oh, now we're like eating toilet. the toilet already! And he like it! After that... Do you like bed? This time... Yes! I like bed! Oh, three items again! And this part, the girl, she asks to the monster... Do you like bed? Say with me! Do you like bed? Your turn! Do you like bed? And then the monster says... Yes, I like bed. Yes, I like bed. Your turn. Yes, I like bed. Alright, now let's find out which one is for red bed. Purple one, yellow or white? Which one is for bed? One, two or three? Number one. Yes, would be number one. The purple bed over there. Good job. And then, oh, he ate it. I like bed. Oh, he like it, everyone. Look at him. Oh, what's happened with the monster? Oh, excellent, everyone. So he, the monster, he ate a lot of items with other furnitures. So now good on to children over there. And now with our game, the hungry monster. All right, next then, let's move to the next part for today. And this time, everyone, 
we are going to do our exercise with our workbook or worksheet together. So now let's bring your workbook. Workbook beside you. And then let's open your workbook on page six and seven. Part of page six and seven. Yes, yeah, student, it's the same. You can follow it for pictures over there on our worksheet too. And this part of our exercise, student, don't forget to find out your pen or maybe you can use some pencils or maybe colors or crayons. It's according to you. Then let's practice with our exercise together. So our exercise from this one we call places in the house. Oh, we are going to find out with the places from our house. So we have a different types of rooms in our house, right? Then let's look at our first pictures over there. All right, now look at our first picture, this one. Oh, look, what can you see from this picture? Can you see a bed? Yes. Yes, and on the bed, we have some pillows over there. And this one for our example, how do we call this room? Bedroom. Yes, it's bedroom. All right, now this one that's called bedroom. We are going to circle with the right word. So this part, yeah, we have circled this one already. So this one is for example. All right, now it's back to you, student. We move to the next picture. This time, look at this picture. Oh, look. What can you see from this picture? Can you see the counter over there? Yes. yes. Oh, can you see the cattle one? Yes. It's on the counter. So, tick tock, tick tock. Let's find out the right word that match to this picture. And two word choice that we have. First one, bedroom. Is this a bedroom? No. No, we cannot find the cattle in our bedroom, right? All right, next then. Let's check out with this word. Kitchen. Is this a kitchen, this picture? Yes. Yes, very nice. This one we call a kitchen. All right, now let's circle out the right word here. The kitchen. Circle this one. Then say with me, kitchen. Your turn. Kitchen. Good job. All right. Have you finished with this one? Yes. Well done. Let's move to the next types of room. So look at this picture. Oh, look at this one, student, this picture. What can you see from this picture? Can you see the sofa? Yes. Yes, so we can find the sofa in the bedroom, is it? No. No, what about living room? Is this a living room? Yes. Yeah, this one you can find in some living area. So we call this room for living room. Now let's circle the right word. The above one, that's, with, that's for living room. All right. Now say with me everyone, living room, your turn. Living room. Excellent. And next then, we move to other large pictures on page seven. Now, let's look at this room. Look at carefully. What can you see from this picture? Can you see the sink one? Yes. The mirror is here. So now this thing that you can see is for bathtub. Oh, guess what? How do we call this room? Is this a kitchen? No. No, it's not. Then what about bathroom? Is this a bathroom? Yes. Yes, great word. This room we call bathroom. Now let's circle the right word. Out of first one for bathroom like this. Let's circle the right one and say with me again. This one we call bathroom. Your turn. Bathroom. Very nice. All right. Now, have you finished with part of our exercise on page six and seven? Yes. Great work, still then. Next then, let's move to the next activities for today. So this time, we move to our student book. Student book. All right, student. Now, let's bring your student book beside you. Here is our student book that you can see with our title where it's picked over there. And then... Let's open your student book on page 6 and 7. So you can find the picture like this. And teacher will show you on our screen. 
Where is a cat? Put on the right stickers and talk about it. So this part, we are going to lead looking for our animals. So now teacher has four animals. A cat, a dog, a pig, and the last one that we call a rabbit. Where are they? We are going to find out all of them without a picture that you can solve with this one like that. So this part, we are going to put on the right sticker too. Now everyone, let's bring your four sticker, four of them. The first one, table, followed by chair, closet, and so far, just only four of them. Let's bring it beside you. All right, now let's practice with our exercise together. Let's begin with a cat. A cat is on the... All right, this part, student. Our sentence is... A cat is on the... A cat is on the... Blank. Oh, can you follow the pink circle one over there? We are going to put on the right sticker. So in part of your student book, the places for put on the sticker is over there, above one from part of the cat here. Then, let's look at without a picture first. Have you found a cat? Where is the cat? This one. Is this a cat? No. No. So, what color is it of the cat? Green one, is it? No, again. No. So, where is the cat? Orange. It's orange. Over there. Oh, it's orange. It's over there. This one. Is this a cat? Yes. And where is he now? He's on the what is it? Table. Table. Very nice. All right, still there. Now it's back to you. Let's find out the right sticker of table. So now the cat, he is on the table. Let's find out which one is the right sticker of table. This one, is this a table? No. No, what about blue one here? Is this table? No, again. Oh, no, again. And then what about yellow one? Is this a table? Yes. Yes, then let's choose this one. Table. Oh, good job. It's for table. Okay. Okay. A cat is on the table. All right, student. From your student book, you have to put on your sticker here without a pink with our pink shadows, this one, put on still the, put on your sticker on this one, table. And next then, let's read out the sentence. A cat is on the table. Say with me, a cat is on the table. Your turn. A cat is on the table. Very nice. Now we can find a cat already. Let's move to the next one. Who's come next? Look at the picture. Guess what? What is it? Dog. Yes, it's a dog. All right. A dog is under the. So this part, our sentence is a dog is under the blank. Let's find out the dog, everyone. So where are your dog? Look at our pictures again. The white one here. Is this a dog? No. No. And what about green one? Is this a dog? No teacher. No. Oh. And then what about this one? He is sleeping. Is this a dog? Yes. Yes, and now the dog, he's under the, how do we call this furniture? Chair. Chair, very nice. Now back to you again, student. Let's find out the right sticker or chair. Which one is for chair? How the first one here? Is this a chair? No. No, it's not. Then what about this? Is this a chair? Yes. Yes. All right. Good job. Now let's choose this one of the sticker. Chair. Chair. Then that's it. Right out of circle. A dog is under the chair. Yes. Now we got out of complete sentence. So part of the dog again. You have to put on your sticker of chair with outer blue circle shadows. This one. All right. Now let's read out of sentence. A dog is under the chair. Stay with me. A dog is under the chair. Your turn. A dog is under the chair. Very nice. Yes, a dog is here. So he's under the chair. All right. Well done. Next then, still then, we are going to fight out with the next animals. The pink one here. What is it? Pig. Yes, it's a pig. Now let's fight out our pig. A pig is in the... All 
All right, this part, our sentence is A pig is in the blank. So, out of purple circle one, we are going to find out the right sticker. But now, let's look at our picture. Have you seen the pig? Everyone, where is the pig? Mm, is he behind the sofa? No. no. So, where are your pig? Oh, this one. In our purple closet. Is this a pig over there? Yes. Oh, yes. Now, a pig, he is in the closet. Back to you. Let's find out the right sticker of closet. Which one is for closet? Still then. The blue one. Is this closet? No. No. Yellow one here. No, again. Oh, and then what about the purple one? Is this closet? Yes. Yes. Great work. Now, choose this one. Closet. Good job. It's for closet. Good work. A pig closet. Yes. So this time, don't forget to put on the right sticker with the sentence of the pig here. The pig is on the closet. Put on the sticker of closet on other purple shadows one. And let's read out the sentence. A pig is in the closet. So say with me. A pig is in the closet. Your turn. A pig is in the closet. Very nice. All right, now we have find out with the pig already. Oh, finally, we found you. Let's move to our last one. So this time, the white one here is have big, big ears. What is it, student? Rabbit. Yeah, it's a rabbit. So this part. A rabbit is behind the... Let's find out our rabbit. Our sentence is for... A rabbit is behind the... Have you found a rabbit? His green one, is this rabbit? No. No. Oh, have you found big ears over there? Yes. Is this rabbit? Yes, teacher. Yes. And now the rabbit is behind the... Sofa. sofa. Excellent. Let's find out the sticker of sofa. Which one is for sofa? Purple one. Is this so far? No. No. What about the blue one? Is this a sofa? Yes. Great work. Here is sofa. Now choose this sticker. Sofa. Good job. Good job. And then? A rabbit is behind the sofa. All right. And this part of our rabbit, don't forget to put on the sticker of sofa on our yellow shadows over there. This one that you can find are the yellow shadows of the sentence of the rabbit. Put on the sticker here. After that, let's read out the sentence. A rabbit is behind the sofa. Repeat after me. The rabbit is behind the sofa. Your turn. A rabbit is behind the sofa. Yes, very nice. A rabbit is here. So, he is behind the sofa. Oh, I found you. All right, now everyone. We have found with our four animals already. Then we have finished with this part of our activities on our student book. Good on you, student. All right, this part, we are going to practice more with our song. Can you remember how to sing and dance with our song, everyone? Yes. All right, this time, let's practice with how to sing first. This time, let's sing our song together. Let's sing along together. And this song we call Under the Table. Are you ready to sing? Yes. Let's sing it louder, everyone. Under the Table. Under the Table. Under the Table. Is he under the table? No! Under the chair. Is he under the chair? No! No! Under the bed. Under the bed. Is he under the bed? Yes! Yes! Well done, everyone. You are good singers. All right, now this time, we are going to practice with how to sing and dance together with our song that we call Under the Table. All right, now, student, let's stand up, stand up, sing and 
dance together? Warm up! Alright, let's set our first! Are you ready? Yes! Let's sing and dance along! Under the table, under the table, is he under the table? No! No! Under the chair, under the chair, is he under the chair? No! Goodbye song. 